the kindest games. games. Overtime. <laughs> Today, we have a special edition for you. We've got Playground Bill and Coach Cat in the house. Party. Happy to be I don't here. know if anybody else ever called you Playground Bill, <laughs> but that is it. Like, you just made that up on message like the other day. Yeah, Bill's uh, like thinking maybe that could be creepy though, too. So. <laughs> We're calling him Playground Bill in a good way, right? In a kind way. In a right? kind way. Kind exactly. way. Yes. <laughs> Thank you for clarifying, Lee. I, I had to put it out there. It's awesome. Awesome. Well, today is the first Kindness Game scoreboard of 2021. It's been a month since we've done it. And you know, if you've been following us, that we try to bring some Kindness Games alumni in here to kind of talk about their experiences a little bit and then run down the list. So, Coach Cat, how, how was your Kindness Games experience? Why did you join and, and like what did you learn or experience during it? Well, I joined the Kindness Games because I heard Dr. Halleck, who we love from Wild Leaders, talking about the Kindness Games and how he was sharing out in the world how beautiful everything was going and how the work that they were doing and how it was impacting others. And so, of course, I wanted to learn about Lee and Tim and how you launched it. And so for me, it's just really spreading love and light out there and then helping people become the best version of themselves. And what I learned is that there's so many awesome people involved in the kindness games. And I've got to meet beautiful people like you who continue to spread kindness out in the world. So I'm just excited that I got to be a part of it and meet so many people all over the world. Yeah, and that's interesting because you and I, like on a weekly call, we're around each other in the same group uh, with Wild Leaders, but we'd never met until yeah. we picked off your kindness games debut. And I was like, I recognize that name, but I've never met her. Yeah, it was a really good space to meet a bunch of people. And I was glad that I got to meet you that way too. Yeah. Awesome. Bill, how was your experience? What did you uh, tell us about it? You mean Playground Bill? <laughs> Ground Bill. There you go. Uh, so I shared this with uh, Tim on a call we had a couple weeks ago. Um, there was that initial fudge moment. Uh, Anyone who's seen the movie, The Christmas Story, where the kid goes, fudge, that was me. Uh, I, I think that's like most people who get shouted out. And then I, I took a step back. I realized that one of the two co-founders of The Kindness Games just shouted me out, uh, not knowing each other very well. And uh, You were still in bed at this point. Like you literally just woke up and started to check your phone, right? Yeah, that was a private conversation we had, but that's oh. all right. My bad. <laughs> That's <laughs> public now. That <laughs> Welcome right. to the kindness <laughs> games. <laughs> exactly. Uh, yes, I just woke it up. I read my, I read the uh, the tag and went, oof. Uh, but I had a quick conversation with someone who I shared uh, with Tib is smarter than me, my wife. And um, it was one of those situations where I was like, hey, I don't know Tim well, but the fact that he shouted me out and the fact that I can do something kind uh, was awesome. And so my experience was fantastic. It was 30 days filled with shouting out people in the security industry, in the law enforcement industry that I'm in, uh, a female CEO who I hadn't seen in 25 years, uh, legacy people, uh, my third grade teacher, uh, just people who've had a tremendous impact, people who needed to be lifted up. Uh, I have a couple of people I know who have cancer or family members have cancer. And it was just an awesome opportunity to get to know people like Coach Cat, Sue Ginsburg, Brandon. Uh, Lee and I hadn't connected prior to this, so we actually traded a couple of messages early on. And uh, the biggest impact for me was my kids. My kids loved being a part of it. They loved the, the message uh, I shared with Tim. Our oldest daughter sent me a message very quickly on day two saying, Dad, you always do such fantastic things. And it wasn't me. This was... Uh, a, a thing bigger than me and bigger mm -hmm. than what I what I did. So that was the fantastic part for me. So. But at the same time, it is you, which is why I called you out, right? Um, you know, I, I brought this up on a joint kindness I did with Janina Linka, I think a friend of most of ours now. And um, 
and I said, you can't jump into the kindness games if you're a dick because you can't fake it because people will call you out for your BS, right? Yeah. And so like, if it's you are like kindness games and you're terrible, like people are going to let everybody know. Uh, so, you know, it's really cool to have met so many new people through the kindness games and they're like the best kind of people. So that's awesome. Well, Coach Cat, I'm so glad that uh, I met you through this and Bill, we've kind of reconnected through this because uh, we haven't talked in a little while because of the whole COVID experience. But today we're going to start the scoreboard. Now I'm going to do something a little bit different. Since it's the first scoreboard of 2021, I think we need to recap the alumni list. And when I post this, like I'm going to list that out so people can see like who was already alumni at the beginning of 2021. So that's 18 people. Wow. wow. That's, so, that's great. Woohoo! Tim Wenzel, number one. The amazing Lee Otten, number two. The amazing Kelsey Carnell, number three. Jason Sakura, number four. Josh Ledesma, number five. Number six is Brandon Tan. Steve D'Navrio, <gasps> number eight. Bill Massey. What up, Playground? Woo! 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 Love it. Number it's nine. Awesome. At number 10, Coach Cat Ferris. Uh, I didn't realize you guys were consecutive alumni. That's I know. I'm like, hot. I, I, you know, huh? I planned it. I can uh, dead. Number 11, Sue Ginsburg. Um, she Ooh. mastered the 25 second kindness. Didn't we call I can't do an introduction in 25 seconds. 25 seconds? Wow. That was pretty cool. That, that is cool. Awesome. Uh, number 12, Kekishan Dadwani. And then mm. that is it until December. We had 12 before December started. And then we had like six or seven in December that became alumni. So number 13 in, and the first in December is Paul Maxness. Uh, number 14, uh, Kuno Palemo. Great. Uh, number uh, 15, Abhijit Kumar. And number uh, 16, Eric Brinks. Number 17, Carlos Francisco. And number 18, Janina Linka, which mm. she came in Woo! epic fashion, Yay. right? Yeah. So oh, many yeah. in so many days. It was so like, lovely like to 17 see. 17 in three days or something. Yeah, yeah. Like, she, did she did multiple people. It was great. Yeah, she she kind of pioneered the kindness explosion. Like the last week of the kindness games, like like two or three people a day, like for Thanksgiving to finish on Thanksgiving, which I thought was amazing. But Janina Linka blew her out of the water. She's like, I'm going to do 17 people in three days. <laughs> blew my mind. It was awesome. And she finished on new year's eve so uh yeah so right now um we have one person in triple overtime wow. triple overtime number six today is my 96th kindness games post good that's, so cool. Woo! Woo! That is cool. that's awesome that's awesome lee otten is oh, uh, double overtime six steve Woo! Double overtime seven. Such a great name. Yeah, I huh? love it. It is such a great name. Steve's last name. I just love it. Can you just say it over and over again? <laughs> well, especially, especially once, let's be honest. Especially now that Tim can say it. Yeah. <laughs> Accurate. We all need practice. You know, it's okay. We're all growing and learning together. Oh. Sorry, Tim. That wasn't very tiring. All right. <laughs> now I feel like all oh, like no, I don't care. I suck at everything. <laughs> Kelsey Carnell, double overtime number, uh, double overtime two. Cool. Oh, woo -hoo. <laughs> and then in single overtime, Kekishan Dedwani at eight, Jason Sakura at two, Sue Ginsburg at five, Brandon Tan at one. I should have put these in like descending order. Paul Moxness at three, Bill Massey, playground Bill, at six. Kathleen Ferris, Coach Cat at five. Carlos Francisco. That's another good one. I yeah. like that one too. I like, I like the way you pronounce the it. With you. Yeah. It's like saying Kekashan. <laughs> right. At one. And uh, Abhijit at uh, five in overtime. 
that's a pretty that's a pretty substantial list of people going above and beyond their 30 posts. That is 13 people. Amazing. That's crazy. Fantastic. Jing. Me, and, so, me and Kelsey. Amazing. <laughs> Amazing. <laughs> Uh, the second wave, the second group of people closed on uh, 1126, right around Thanksgiving time. The third wave with Janina Linka closed on January 1st. So she finished with a New Year shout out with me. That was awesome. And in the fourth wave, we have uh, our friend, although, I don't know, Jonathan Harris <laughs> at 10. Now, John's an interesting dude. He was like on the bench, like he, he did a couple and then he became like kind of like an ally. Like I'm not really going to do these often. And then he jumped back in and he made tons of progress and he's kind of on the bench. I don't know if in two weeks he hasn't reposted, he's going back in the allies bench. He'll leave that <laughs> bench. But John Harris, we expect more from you. So Here's your, your invitation. Oof. That's right. Here's your invitation to post some more. Saeed Sharif. Uh, so he is uh, one of four competitors in Africa right now. What? Whoa. Yeah, yeah. that's impressive. And I Pretty love cool. that he's doing event security and how much he cares about everybody and keeping them safe. Yes. Uh, he's at five. Mandy Myers is at five. And Bert Hart is at three. And if they don't make progress, they're getting kicked to the Allies group too. They've been kind of hanging out for a little bit longer and they're friends of mine. So I hope you're watching this video, Mandy and Bert. Get on the horse. The fourth way is just take a little bit of a lull. That's all. Well, and Matt, you know, in Mandy's defense, I will stick up for her. You know, she did donate a lot of things out of her closet. So, you know, give her a for little sure. break. You yeah. know? She's sure. probably got other yeah. rooms in her house to donate. Be more kind <laughs> that way. Amazing people. Fifth wave. So there's a tie for the lead in the fifth wave, uh, 11 mm -hmm. for both Miranda Capulse and Nabi Numer. Mm -hmm. Now Miranda's been hanging out at 11 for a long time. Miranda, what's we going on? Let's finish this thing. Hint, hint. Yeah, we need to Come on over. <laughs> and, uh, Nabi, Nabi's been plugging away. We have uh, Rob Liddick at five. He just started in December. George Saman at three, uh, you'll recall that he started off skiing with me. I don't think he's done anything, so I don't know. George, come on, bro. Like, do we have to go skiing again, really? Did you leave him on the mountain, maybe? <laughs> yeah. Oh, he did come home. He did come okay, home. Okay, okay. Sure. But I have funny stories about the mountain with him, so another time, another time. Kind of uh, play around, okay. And then we have Glenn Smith at one post, and he posted like the Monday after Thanksgiving. I'm going to have to call Glenn. Justin Hansen, uh, one of our other Canadians, did yeah. one post to his friend, Jay McDermott. Yeah, and uh, although he did say like, I don't know if I'm going to be able to do this, but I wanted to do this one, which I guess if you're going to have to do one for your friend, that's pretty meaningful. And then Anmol Segal. Gosh, I think I butchered that name. Uh, she is at one, and she is our other Kindness Games India competitor. Very nice. Very cool. Yeah. So I think Lee and I need to schedule a call with her. We do, her exactly. That would be so, nice. Let's do it. Let's hook it up. On. So I want to point out in your fifth wave, Tim, you have two motivational speakers. If anyone's going to hop into the kindness games, it should be your two motivational speakers. So no pressure, guys. No pressure. <laughs> yeah, give shout them out. The sixth wave, and we have to hurry up because I have the free Zoom account, and we waste yeah. a lot of time talking at the beginning. Yeah. So Come, on, Chief. Come on, Chief. Come on, Chief. I speed it up. <laughs> Just saying. Nonprofit. Uh, Lisa Oliveri at 12, leading the sixth wave. Oh, yeah. yeah. I have been yeah. trying for months to get her into this. She finally kicks off on New Year's Day, and she is leading the pack. Yeah, she's, like, she's loving it. Kindness. It's because she's a Star Wars fan, that's why. Mm. Is she? She is. I watched her videos. <laughs> dun, 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 dun. <laughs> 
Coach Cat has given us some information that we did not know about. <laughs> Game on, Lisa. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> I am going to call the Empress later and say, <laughs> That's oh, right. Oh, Empress oh, Leia, please oh, come oh. back to the ship. Uh, at nine, we have Janet Fenner and Angela Scalpello, who also kicked off on New Year's Eve with me. They're also crushing it. Yep. Yeah. Every day. Yeah. Yeah, every day. Really good ones. Really good ones. Yeah. And, and Janet, Janet's pioneering a new thing, like bring the people. Bring the people on. All with you. Nice. I yeah. like it. Like it. Fantastic. Christopher Stitt. He's a guy I know through Wild. Also was working with diplomatic security. I don't know if he's still there. Um, I had no idea. Usually people kind of let me know when they're gonna hit it. He just started on like the I think New Year's Day or 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 November or January second. And he's at eight. And we have the chief kindness officer himself, Randy McNeely. He jumped in right before New Year's Day. And he is at four. That's impressive. Yeah, that's that calls awesome. Themselves the chief kindness officer. Nice. <laughs> Doing the kindness games. What? What? Awesome. That is awesome. Uh, and then we have Martha Donato at three, um, who Angela Scalpello brought in. That's pretty cool after New Year's Day. Brittany Galley, she's at like one and a half, right? So <laughs> I did the New Year's Eve kickoff with her. She recorded with me in December. She still hasn't posted it. Post a video, girl. You got two. Just do it. So the funny thing is that's my like 30th for my first overtime. So technically I'm not out of my first overtime yet because she won't post the video. It's terrible. <laughs> uh, and uh, okay, here's a couple names I'm going to butcher. And uh, better make it quick, bro. <laughs> actually, you know what I am going to do though? Uh, I'm just going to start this over and then we're going to have Mandy stitch them together. I think that's the best idea, bro. <laughs> Hopefully, I'm like rapid fire. Same. I'm sweating rap, for you. Rap, 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 rap. All right, come call, call right back in. Okay. <laughs> Two. So we ran out of time on my basic Zoom because we messed around too much. So having too much darn fun. Yes. Go fund me for uh, premium Zoom. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, we're gonna stop, reach out like, to Mandy before she hears what we said about her and like have her like bring these together it's gonna be amazing all right so where where did we leave off we're in we're in the sixth wave and yeah, six. uh we have two newcomers from the continent of africa who jumped on new year's day 24 hours of kindness calls with kunal Oh, all right, names. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. I don't know you yet, but we'll talk soon, I think. Uh, Fee Mc, McWabe and Mutina Masso. They're I shouldn't laugh, women. but I shouldn't but, laugh at the first one. Sounded like <laughs> a Scottish African. I was like, what? So this, this brings me back to like scoreboard number one where he was trying to do D'Onofrio. Lee, please. Yeah, come. it's like, I can't get that name right. I'm just going to try to get Steve something or other. <laughs> yeah, you know, we're going to have to have, Tim. We're gonna have yeah. to put these ladies on a call with Lee and I. We're going to have to understand how to pronounce her name. And I'm going to go back to the mirror where I developed D'Onofrio. <laughs> D'Onofrio. Spell it out phonetically. Totally like we did with Kekashan. Yeah. <laughs> But it is so good now, Tim. Yeah, exactly. And Harold is the newest member of the sixth wave. He just started the other day. He's got one post, but he is taking this to the next level. So if you level. don't know Chuck Harold, Chuck is Security Guy TV. And he basically is kind of like the security industry's lead podcaster. Before podcasting was a thing, he was doing it for the security industry. And he called me up and said, Tim, I want to start doing the kindness games. But what I want to do is I want to interview people who are in the security industry and are out of work looking for a job. I'll interview them, do a digital resume, 
and I'm going to run those videos. And I thought that was amazing. That's super. That's cool. a kind offer. It's so fantastic. Isn't it? That's yep. really cool. That's, that's some next level. Next level. Yeah, he's, he's a huge advocate for women in security too, isn't he? And he's, he's just done that uh, big series as well. And I, I pretty much see him launching a video of that every day too right now. He does a lot. He's a super cool dude. He is. He is. So uh, very cool. Um, what do we think about the sixth wave? Is it 10 people since New Year's Day? That's we got impressive. Some, we got some almost rock one a day. Lot. Yeah, almost one a day. That's yeah. super cool. We so, got some serious rock stars in the sixth wave. Yeah. So think about this. 2021, if you watch the news, it's kind of started off kind of crappy. But for the kindness game, it started off really good. We went from 12 uh, alumni at the end of November to 18 by New Year's Day. That's a ton of people coming in in December. And now since January 1, we've got like 10 people starting. Could we be at 30 Kindness Games alumni by the beginning of summer? I think so. Oh, yeah. Absolutely. All we got to do is ask a couple more people to come on, each of us. Does this sound like a goal? Game on. <laughs> oh, is that competition, hey. Kelsey? Yeah. Especially if Kelsey can get Tim Tebow, too. I mean, yeah, Tim Tebow. I mean, come on. Woo, still, woo. Still, still trying. Yes. <laughs> yeah. So um, I think uh, that if you're watching this video, the gauntlet is thrown down. We need 30 Kindness Games alumni by June 1. We can do this. We can do it. Let's go. Do I it. think that's a good goal. I think it's super attainable. Yep. It's doable. All right. So the allies list. Our supporters who aren't like committed to a 30 post, but they do chime in every now and again, they do like and share and, and boost us. So like they're our booster club, which we're grateful for. The list has grown. There's been some people that have been pretty inactive. And so I put them off of the wave into the allies. So we have Ron Warman at five. We have Sarah Lawler at four and she threw out a new year's day post. That was like, happy new year's, everybody. I'm looking forward to getting back in the kindness games in 2021. I was like, really? Ooh, Kelsey, maybe you and I need to get on a call with her. If you haven't met also Sarah, game. she's the greatest. Mm. She's, she's awesome. Cool. I have yeah. not met her yet. I have not met her yet either. Well, I've only met her since COVID, so we haven't shared the same face, but I, I know her, like I know Lee, and we're best friends. Don't we, don't we, don't we owe her a kindness call too? I'm pretty sure we do. I think that's long overdue as well. I think we've like rescheduled it like yes. a million times, right? Yes. Oh, yeah, do. you're right. I, we'll talk about this later. Let's not give her. <laughs> yeah. Let's give her a kind surprise, right? Let's do it. Let's oh yeah, do we're going to do it. Unexpected. It's going to be amazing. <laughs> uh, Daniel Hollick at four. Woo -woo, Dr. Uh, Hollick. Rob McKenna oh. at three wild leaders right wild leaders. Um, yeah, Elisa Mula and Min Kirianis at two each. Um, and, and actually, there's a yet unpublished episode that they did interviewing the Kindness Games crew that is uh, so that will put them at three. By the way, they have their own podcast, Mid and Elisa, and they have dedicated two episodes, one yet unreleased, to what is the kindness games. That's impressive. Mm -hmm. Nice. Awesome. I love that. We have to be careful though, because we still owe them a special challenge, bro. So <laughs> let's not that, that, that was kind of like, you no, know, it's not gonna happen for me. So yeah. get that out of your mind. Yeah. <laughs> Anyways, another topic. Charles Randolph and Chuck Andrews each at two. And by the way, did you see Chuck Andrews in his elf costume on his ranch? Yeah. 
I think he should should have got the oh, yeah. for the best kindness video for the whole year, right? Absolutely. That was, most, that was pretty awesome. Spirit. Him yeah. and Jay, super close. Yeah. Very super tight. Close. Jay the red room. <laughs> yeah. But but Chuck Chuck sent it to me and he said, What do you think about this? And I was like, oh my God, that is, <laughs> that's gangster. Let's do it. That's some Christmas yeah. spirit there. That was really cool. That was that, do you see that. Lee saying no? Of course, yes. <laughs> it was amazing. It was amazing. Uh, and then we have three rounding out our allies list at one. Andy Scantlin, James Dukowski, and Antoinette King. And I actually spoke with Antoinette King. And I was like, hey, what's going on? And she was like, I'm not ready. Like, I can't devote the time to it. But when I am, you're going to know. And I was like, ooh, ooh. Oh, boy. Really? <laughs> Is that like a like a tumbleweed moment? Like when she said that to you, like, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> did it go by you so quickly? <laughs> he jumps into it. Sound like prepare was, yourself. Yeah, she was quite fierce, right? Yeah, with that, yeah, fierce. Better watched him. Antoinette, we're waiting. <laughs> we're waiting. Impress us. <laughs> uh, that is the list. We have hit 50 Kindness Games competitors. Brilliant. Ooh. That's a number. That's awesome. Yes. Let's keep it going. Let's go. So if we can have 30 by summer, we can have uh, we can have 50 alumni by the time we do the next Jingle Bell Kindness, right? Oh, yes, yeah. we can. Yeah, 100 by the end of the year. <laughs> <laughs> Do you guys have any closing thoughts? I'll hand it to the ladies first of all. Kelsey, yeah. come on. Come on. All Kelsey. right. I always have something to say, you know. Um, I think just short and sweet. I think that it's super amazing. I really, Bill and Kat hadn't met you guys until Kindness Games. So two more Kindness Games friends. Um, Lee and Tim, you guys are awesome. You know, I think you're awesome. But this whole group, I totally echo everything that everybody said. It's super impactful, whether you think it is or not, you realize that you're making a difference or you're not. Mm -hmm. um, and just the positivity that I've seen come from the Kindness Games and all of the awesome people that I've met. Um, I feel like it's lifelong friends. It sounds super cheesy and I'm always the one to make cheesy comments, but mm -hmm. I really think that it's people... <laughs> Lee. I think that it's people that I really like say I travel and I go to some place that you guys live I'm definitely meeting up with all of you so I think that's um I think it's super cool I really just appreciate everybody's time and efforts that they've put into it and I think we can keep the train moving for sure and I think once the world opens back up there's going to be a kindness games reunion oh mm. heck yeah bring them all together call with the time with extra cheese for Kelsey <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. No, no caffeine, Sorry. but extra All cheese. Right. <laughs> oh God. Co Co Coach no Kat, come on down. Yeah, for me, I think what Kelsey was saying, I, I just want to echo that because, you know, I hadn't met any of you until the Kindness Games. And what's really cool is this environment has allowed us to have like really deep relationships already that all this craziness of exchanging business cards and all that that didn't get in the way. Like Janine and I are already going to connect at ACES. Did I get that right? The conference in April in Vegas. And we're already talking about how to get together. And I just really feel like everyone involved has been open and welcoming. And again, our goal, like Kelsey said, you know, it's not to keep track of what we're doing or whether or not people think this or that. It's just for us to keep pushing forward and being kind and doing our good work and bringing more people along with us so we can impact more of the globalness so i'm just excited to be here and see 100 people by next year seems doable to me nice awesome bill playground bill? wherever you are playground where are you all oh. the brady bunch <laughs> see i would be on the playground but it's dark outside otherwise i'd, I'd be here. <laughs> I, I trust me i was hoping for that but uh, no, this this has been a fantastic experience across the board. Tim, thank you so much for shouting me out in the first place. You know, Lee, uh, I know we connected uh, a little while ago. The fantastic part about this is the fact that you two didn't know each other or have never met each other. 
the fact that you talked about Carlos Francisco from Facebook, you guys have worked together for you know quite some time. They never met. connected or met until this. Yeah. Um, that's, that to me is the power of this. It's meeting people. I would, I would never have met coach cat or Sue Ginsburg or Brandon or anyone else. And we've taken little bits and pieces of their shout outs and the things that they're doing and incorporated into our life, which is just, it's been fantastic. So, um, Lifelong friends, Kelsey, I agree with you. Uh, definitely a reunion, but thank you guys so much for getting this started. Beautiful. Do you want, do you want me to uh, add some uh, mind-blowing motivational moments? Go ahead. Yeah, because, yes. because we're all here because of you two and your vision. We, we wouldn't be here if it wasn't for you two. So, yes. Well, the, tr the truth is the real visionary was Tim. I, I, I've got to get it out there. Tim was the original maverick visionary and then i just i put you like make it sound like i intended to start something i was just goofing off yeah but like, i put the cherry cherry on top right i just you know i applied the cherry the, the double dog dare is that what it was lee <laughs> yeah that's the one yeah you should go back no. to the original kindness games code post like the first five days and I started yeah. keeping score of likes and shares between lee and i and then i stopped because lee was destroying me and it was like <laughs> depressing <laughs> i i destroyed him with kindness or uh, or as Aww. we said i crushed him with kindness because he loves it you know he, he needs to be crushed with kindness tim 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 was he was the original okay tim was the the creator of this this beautiful initiative and, and journey and i think that journey is you know what we really need to highlight because i know um every single one of us has been on an immense journey and, and this is yeah, one thing that we challenge and encourage um, everybody to be involved with the kindness games because it gives you so much passion there's so much reward um, in it and I also say if you can't give out kindness then uh, there must be something going wrong but you know it's just look I mean come on keep being beautiful keep being kind keep uh, you know sharing love be positive empower others inspire others be that servant leader you know those of you that are you know, seasoned professionals, you know, pick up the phone to, you know, the younger, you know, professionals within the industry and, you know, give them some of your secret sauce, you know, sharing's caring. Um, and we can do so much together. And I think we've proved that, you know, in, in the kindness games, you know, especially now what you said, Tim, what we're at 50. Um, and I know that we can do so much more with it. And I know we can get so many more people involved and i love the way that the kindness games has, ev has evolved into new initiatives like what tim's just done with chuck harold i think that that's wonderful and that just showcases if you're creative how much more we can do anyway i will zip the lips and i will pass the mic back to my brother from another tim wenzel i thank you all for everything you do yeah you know words, Lee. nice uh, 2020 was a trying time and, you know, 2021 is going to be another rough one. Um, you know, we're already experiencing it on January 12th, but you know what? We get to control how we show up in life <clears throat> and we get to control how we treat one another. And that's what the kindness games is all about. We each can make a difference within our sphere of influence within our local communities, within our community of friends. Um, and if we do, if we influence people with kindness, for the good, with curious conversations, in an attempt to understand and know another human being, we can make a difference. We can set this world on a better path as far as the area that we can kind of influence and control. And so that's what I challenge all of you to do. So, end of the first scoreboard of 2021. Yay.